Hey guys, it's Chris with another episode of Homes in 5. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to run Remote Joy Lite version 0.19 on your PSP 6.0 Pro B10 custom firmware. Now this isn't actually an official release for the PSP, but I found out that it works. Uh, this is actually for 6.20 and 6.3, like those two firmwares anywhere in the middle of there, this should work on them. But it works on 6.60, so this is obviously, you can see me in here right now, I'm doing it. The PSP is right in front of me. There's all my, you saw what model I'm on and all that. Here's my games, if it'll load up. It's a little bit slower Remote Joy Lite, that's all. There we go, so I've got all my games in there, I'll quit out of that. And now, what I'm going to do, I need to just reset my PSP very quickly so that this will work for the demonstration. Uh, one second, give me a sec. I just got to, uh, plugins, Remote Joy Lite, and disable, back, reset device. Okay, now what you need to do now that I've done that is download the two files in the description. That'll be PSP display and Remote Joy Lite. Sorry if you heard that, that was in the background. Just download those two files. You will end up with something that looks like this. Now that'll be a zip file. I've already extracted mine. I've got them organized. And what you're going to need to do is run PSP display version 0.6. It's a setup for all platforms. It'll work from Windows 2000 through to Windows 7. If you have Windows 7, what may happen after you finish the installation is it'll tell you that it needs signature signed drivers to run. What you need to do if that happens is turn your computer off. When it turns back on, uh, it may be different for certain computers, but my computer, you press F8 in the boot in the startup screen, and it actually takes you to a menu where you need to disable driver signature reinforcement. So once that's done, you can run Remote Joy Lite on your computer. I've already done that to save time with this demonstration. Also, whilst this is running, you just click Yes, Install Anyway for every single driver that comes up with that question. So once that's running, Yes for everything. Now once that's finished, there'll be something down here for PSP Display. Just right click and exit that. You don't need it anymore. And even turn off starting up on startup. You don't need that, just the drivers that comes with it. Okay, now that I've finished with what I'm saying there, you need to go into Remote Joy Lite 0.19, what you downloaded and extracted, and those two won't be there when you open it. That's only when you've run Remote Joy Lite for the first time. You'll end up with these six files right there. What you need to do is plug your PSP in via USB on your computer. Hopefully this will pop up. Yes, it worked. Perfect. I stuffed it up last time. Continue without scanning. And this is in the root of the memory stick. So if you don't have a folder called SE Plugins, make one now. Just right click, new folder. Doesn't matter if it's in capitals or not. And go into there. Now, if you don't have any text files called Game, Game 150, or VSH, make them now. The same thing, except you can go new and text document. Name them VSH, Game 150, and Game. Make all three of those. And open up that. In the description, you can copy this. For PSP, for normal PSPs, it'll be this, MS0. For PSP Go, it'll be different in the description. And you need to make, you need to copy that. And 0 is to say it's deactivated. If it's 1, it means it's activated for the plugin in the PSP. It's just so it recognizes it. But just copy and paste all of that into your text document and control S or save it and close it. Once you've done all three of those, the last thing you need to do is get the PRX that you downloaded. And you're going to want to click that or right click and copy or click and drag it into the SE plugins folder again. So I've already done that, I don't need to do it again. Okay, now once all of that's finished, you're pretty much set up to go. So I'll close out that and I'll close this folder again. Um, oh wait, no, sorry, I will get that back open by mistake. And you're going to want to need the Remote Joy Lite English file. That's the normal one, it doesn't matter because there's no real language on it, but standard one, English one. So you're going to want to double click that once your PSP is plugged in. I've disconnected my PSP, just let me turn the plugin back on. I apologize for this wasting time, but it's the only way I can do it so that this demonstration will run smoothly. Reset device. Just let the PSP power up again, you'll probably hear it in the background. Okay, there we go. Now, you can either double click that, I've saved mine to a tab down the bottom here, so I'm going to plug the USB back in. My PSP. Da -da. There we go, it's on my computer that and there we go there we have it that is remote joy light version 0.19 running on the firmware that you saw just previously i'll show you again for those who are the non-believers where are we going system information here we go me a real funny sherlock because you know me last name's holmes it's hilarious now something that you can do on remote joy light to make it run a bit better and it be a bit more painless if you're going to use it for capturing and as well, I'll just show you all of this. So what we're going to do is right, just right click in an empty space anywhere on the screen. Oh, on the Remote Joy Lite screen. Right click and go to etc. 
and you keep aspect ratio. So whenever you adjust the size of this remote joy light frame, it'll keep the screen in proportion with itself so it won't be stretched in any particular direction. If you want remote joy light on the top of all other windows, then obviously always on top. Don't mess with anything else down here really. Filter no, capture. If you want to record anything, it's F12. If you're in the main screen, like here, press F12 and it'll start to record. Um, enable that. 60 frames per second is good and the codec that runs really smooth, that's really nice, is the TechSmith screen capture. So you pick that and configure and that's the default, but that is perfect. The default that comes with it is fantastic, it runs really well. Uh, once all that's set up, that's to capture audio I think. Yes, it is to capture audio, my mistake. PSP, uh, Type 1, all these the same. And to save battery on the PSP, as soon as Remote Joy Light starts, if you turn PSP screen off, if you tick that, the screen will just turn off completely. If you leave that option on, you can turn the screen back on just by pushing the brightness button. The PSP screen will turn back on. It just saves battery if you're playing games on the screen. Macro, ignore, ignore everything in there. Just click save and close the box. That's it. That is everything you need that's running full screen and it doesn't look that pixelated so it looks really really nice. Um, anyway this has been another episode of Homes in 5. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, feel free to follow me on Twitter or my Google Plus down the bottom. I also write for a website called 1337 Squad and 1337 Mods. We're going to change the domain name. They're a bit cheesy but um, if you want to check out the website anything written by Chris is me any articles there, we keep you up to date with anything tech related in computers, consoles, phones, etc. So feel free to have a look. Um, anyway, yeah, like I said, another episode of Homes in 5. See you guys later.